Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The best uh, supplement, free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. We'll help you with any questions. It's just easier if it's Kaplan because I can bring it up backstage. Uh, if you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank and like to invest in one, you can get a 10% discount with my Guru 10 discount code at checkout. And uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at uh, Kaplan content. Uh, this is QID 1312512. I will link this to my equity lecture where I go over this at length. I'll also put it in the SIE playlist because it's testable there. And I'll also put it in the Series 7 playlist. Uh, JDX Corporation is charter. So, you know, when we are going to have a corporation as our business structure, our form of ownership, we get a corporate charter. And in that corporate charter, we're going to have the number of shares that are authorized. This could be a definitional question, A, B, C, D, for example. If I ask you on the exam, a maximum number of shares a corporation can issue under its terms of charter, that's authorized here. That number is 10 million. If we go past that, we're going to have to get a uh, shareholder approval to do so. We're going to have to have a shareholder vote. Shares vote, not people. So this is what we can go up to uh, without amending the corporate charter. It is used 5 million shares. 5 million shares, again, definitional test question, are shares that have been placed with investors. So this company has placed 5 million shares uh, with investors. It has a million shares in treasury. Uh, treasury stock it's kind of like dividends in this regard. It's a way of the corporation to return capital to shareholders. You know, the board gets together and they say, well, you know, we uh, think our stock is undervalued. So two things we can do, you know, we can uh, buy back stock into the treasury if we think it's undervalued. Uh, but that's also a way of returning uh, capital shareholders besides the dividend. We associate dividends and treasury stock with mature, stable businesses. So that being said here, it says it has a million shares in the treasury. Okay, so issued less treasury, test question. You know, by the way, again, definitional A, B, C, D. If I ask you uh, shares that have been purchased or retired by the corporation, you would say treasury stock. You know, by the way, we're retired. The hint here is it could come out of retirement. Okay, so that's our first sentence in the question. We're doing what we call our setup, right? We want to do our setup. And so as it stands right now, we have 10 million shares authorized. We have 5 million shares issued. We have a million shares in the treasury. I would know, test point, that treasury stock has no voting rights and treasury stock pays no dividends. I would definitely know that as a test taker as well. So as it stands right now, we have 4 million shares outstanding. Uh, this company could issue uh, 6 million shares without amending the corporate charter. In other words, it could reissue the million shares that are presently in the treasury, but it also could issue uh, 5 million shares that are authorized, but on issued. All right, says so JDX decides to use all of the treasury stock to pay a dividend. So the JDX is paying a stock dividend to shareholders. As a result, the number of shares outstanding. Okay, well, we had 5 million shares issued, and now we just reissued the treasury stock. And so now we do not have any treasury stock. Again, the definition is testable. You know, issued less treasury equals outstanding. So we have no treasury stock. So we now have 5 million shares outstanding. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, it is testable, these definitionals. It's, you know, I don't know how pro what I would do in terms of probability here. Uh, I think you should have a general understanding of the corporate form of ownership and this idea of, the authorized shares, and we go past that, it requires, you know, shareholder vote to amend the corporate charter. Uh, I've seen many times in the past where the shareholders have not amended it, because remember, if we amend it and allow the corporation to issue more, we can be, be diluted. And so, you know, I've seen shareholder votes go down where the company loses and isn't, isn't able to issue uh, additional shares. But as it stands right now, uh, this company uh, could issue, you know, in the initial sentence, it could issue $6 million. And by the way, it issued a million of the six. It reissued the treasury stock. All right. So remember, uh, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And if you have any additional uh, questions you need help on, you know where to find us. Bye-bye.